he is my life. And I always count it a privilege to stand before his people and simply tell them about him. Um, I, I, I do not take it lightly when it comes to talking about my friend, my Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you to the AY Council for extending me this opportunity to stand before you on last night and on this morning and also again on this evening. Thank you so much for those who have planned this week. Thank you for, to Pastor and Mrs. Bryant for their hospitality, allowing me to stand in his pulpit. I, I pray I don't do too much damage. Um, <laughs> go ahead and damage them. As I look out, I thank God for uh, the presence of my friends, uh, Ronson and Tasha. Uh, my uncle, my uncle Larry, came to see me. It's good to have family. Good to have family. There is a word from the Lord today. If we would just turn back to Mark chapter 11. <laughs> if we would just turn back to Mark chapter 11. And I'm going to read it here in verses 11 and down from the New International Version. Does anyone here come expecting a word from the Lord? <laughs> Mark chapter 11, verse 11 and down reads this way in the New International Version. Jesus entered Jerusalem. Look at this. Look at Jesus' movements. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple courts. He looked around at everything. But since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves, because it was not the season for figs. Then he said to the fig tree, look at Jesus here, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. He would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. Hmm. Have you ever read this in the Matthew account? Uh, in Matthew, he actually made a whip <laughs> in the place of worship. Uh, but look at verse 17. And as he taught them, he said, it, Is it not written, my house, look at the words of Jesus, my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. Amen. But you, but you, you church folk <laughs> have made it a den of robbers. The chief priests and the teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him, for they feared him because the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. In the Matthew account, in chapter 21 of Matthew, when Jesus was overturning these tables, there were those who were on the outside who weren't allowed in the temple who heard the commotion and came in. Read that account if you get a chance. When evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Let me read verse 20 again, because we missed something. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed is withered. Look at Jesus' words again. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself in the sea, and does not doubt in, his, in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, Believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them 
so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. Just bear with me for these next few moments as I speak on the sermon and subject title, The Wood, The Wood. Let's pray. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Break me, mold me, make me as you will, for your will is the best will. If we ever needed the Lord before, in a day and time where life is so fragile and it can be taken for almost no reason, if we ever needed the Lord before when, when our everyday lives are literally against our relationship with you and we can barely think about you, much less talk to you, if we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need you now. I need you now, God. Show yourself strong, God. I'm available to you. In Jesus' name I forever pray. Amen. Amen. 